Cursor Path Creator. How does it work? Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Cursor Path Creator, which is a new feature in Camtasia 2022. So I'll show you where it's located. Here on the left-hand side, if you go to Cursor Effects, you will see Cursor Path Creator. And it's in a couple of other places as well. For example, when you film a screencast recording, when you go to the actual media file and you click on it, if you go to, there's three tabs here, the original tab, the audio tab, and then the cursor properties tab, you'll see that you can actually edit the cursor path from there as well. So I actually filmed a test cursor path, basically me going on a website and moving my mouse around. So I did a quick screencast recording on this website. This is a website that we recently created for one of our clients. And what I was doing was going through and just moving the mouse around. I was around here, going there, there, there. And I was just kind of like showing mouse movement because I'm showing the cursor creator path feature. So I was just moving my mouse around. And side note, if you need an epic website created, my business partner and I, we rebranded this entire company. Their previous website was really outdated and we did a complete overhaul, redesign, and now look at this, this website looks amazing. So if you are interested in getting something like this done, hit us up in the description below and we can get you redesigned with a new website. Back to Camtasia. So like I said, I filmed a quick screencast recording of me just going through the website. And this is the one right here. Let me just enlarge the mouse and then I'll play it for you. This is in original format and then we'll play when we edit the cursor path. So here it is right here. As you can see, I'm just, you know, bopping around on the website, going through, right? And I'm just circling around things, going down the website. And then that's pretty much it. So now let's head over to this clip right here where I clicked edit cursor path. So let me just delete this one here and I'll put the original clip down here and show you what I did. Okay, so to edit the cursor path, I filmed a screencast recording and then now I'm going to go to edit cursor path, click on that, and then it's gonna ask me, select an option to begin editing. And it says option, simplify existing path, or you can create a new path. So for this one, I'm just gonna click simplify existing path, and then I'm gonna click continue. Now you're going to see a bunch of stuff happen down here. So it actually tracked the whole thing and you can see all these little dots because that's what I was doing on the website. I was doing a circular motion and then I bounced over here, then I bounced over there. So that's what it's showing. So let's play the new clip now because it, it smoothed it out. It made it smoother and I can definitely tell a difference. So I'll play it right now. So you can see it's a lot more smoother. It's not as rickety. It looks like I didn't have any shaking movement and it looks like I just, you know, went through everything. And it's bouncing around here. It's kind of like, you know, a stabilizer for a mouse. So if you, if you know what a camera stabilizer is, is it makes the footage look smoother. This is basically the same thing. It makes the mouse movement smoother. Because if you play the original one, you'll see it's more jumpy. So let's play it here. So you can see there's like a lot more stop movements right? It's not as smooth. So what the cursor path creator does is it smooths out the movement. Now, another thing that you can do is you can really alter and edit it and you can actually move these dots. 
So let's say, let's just play around here and I'll move this one all the way down here. And then let's see what that does. So I'll play it. So you see, it brought the mouse down there, but technically, I didn't actually go there. I did not bring my mouse down there. So it's kind of creating movement out of nowhere. So you can alter its existing path by moving things over if you're like, oh no, we want it to be going over here and have this be more smooth, something like that. You can do that and actually create its movement. So that is the simple version of the cursor path creator. In another tutorial, I will do the more advanced method where you are creating it from scratch and creating all of its movements. So I'll do that in a different tutorial. Personally, I don't see myself using this as much. I think I would just record my mouse myself and do my own movements rather than having to do the cursor path creator because I feel like that would add a lot more time to my video editing. So just wanted to show you guys this feature. Are you guys going to use it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.